Hello, my name is Adam Austin. I'm a product manager at Windboard Studios, and I'm here to show you today how you can automate a simple letter uh, using the Windward Hub and the Windward Designer. Now, this letter is something that people might commonly copy and paste into. Uh, there's just a couple values that need updated, specifically the date here at the top. We have the name of the recipient, and we also have the name of the company that the recipient works for. And these are all things that we want to automate, but we don't want to accrue the risk of leaving data in or leaving data out by uh, copying and pasting these values in. So let's go ahead and automate this template. First off, let's start with the date. The date is something we just want this to show the date that we output the template. And for that, we actually don't need to input a value. Uh, we can have the template itself just output the current date. So to put an out tag in for this, the first thing we need to do is connect to a data source. Even if we're not using the data we need to connect to one, we'll go ahead and connect to this sample uh, SQL Northwind data. This ships with Windward, so you can have this available to connect to even if you don't have your own data. Um, and we'll input an out tag. Now, since we're just getting the date and we can get that in Windward, oh, whoops, not that, uh, we can go ahead and select the out tag and click on equation. This has some common macros for us. And if we go to date time, one of these macros is the today macro, and that'll give us today's current date time in the UTC time zone. So I'll go ahead and select today, click OK, and we see that it's previewing us, yes, it's the right date. Go ahead and click OK. And if we preview the date, we have the right date, but the formatting's a little bit off. But we can correct that as well if we click on Format Data, select Date. We can select from one of many date formattings. I think that this one is similar to what we started with. Let's apply that. If we preview, sure enough, we have the right date formatting. And I'll rename this as today's date so that we can more easily see what it is. Now for the name here, Jane Smith, we actually do want to input these values when we're running the template. This is the stuff that we would copy and paste in if we didn't have this automated. Uh, and to start automating that, what we're going to do is we're going to select input parameters, and this is where we can specify values we want to have input into the template. I'll add a new input parameter. Let's call this one first name, in fact, recipient first name so we know exactly what it is. And this will be what will replace the name Jane there. Uh, I can go ahead and click save and replace the name Jane with an out tag. And by using the data tree, I can easily see the input parameter that I just made. And if I have my out tag selected, when I click that input parameter, it will specify uh, that the dynamic value will be used in place of that out tag. If we go ahead and output, we can try this and see that our template is already becoming automated. We, we are prompted to put in the recipient's first name. Let's put in Jane, or I'll, actually I'll put in, Ad, in Adam so we see it's dynamic. And that value will be substituted into our output. Let's go ahead and automate the rest of these values, specifically the, the last name Smith and the company name. I'll create one input parameter for recipient last name, and I'll create another one for recipient company name. Save both of those and let's delete and replace that last name with an out tag and we can align that with the last name and we'll do the same thing with the company name here. I will go ahead and put an out tag and substitute in the company name and save. Now let's go ahead into Windward Hub and we'll upload this template. And Windward Hub is where we can now, uh, in our day-to-day, -day, trigger it and put in those dynamic values and get our output. So I'll go ahead to the Document Templates pane. I'll click Upload Template. We'll choose that template that we just automated. I'll Upload and Publish. And now that we have it in Windward Hub, all we need to do is configure a package for that template. And this is what we'll actually be outputting in the future. I'll go ahead and click New Package Template. We'll select the template that we just made. I'll call it Welcome Letter Package. Welcome to Windward is what we'll call the output name. And let's output this to PDF. We're not going to deliver this via email. We're just going to get the output in the, temp in the portal. So I'll go ahead and select None for the delivery method. If we create this, we'll see a warning that we didn't put any default values there. But that's okay, we don't want any default for those because we don't want to assume we know these values beforehand. And now what we have to do is substitute in the dynamic values we want, clicking Run and putting in these values. Let's try Adam Austin. 
my name and my company, Windward Studios, and see that this output will now be dynamically populated. If we output the package template, we see it's already finished here. I'll go ahead and view a download. And the output looks good. We have a custom date in there that we didn't need to specify, just use today's date. I've got my first name, last name, and then my company name. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to automate a simple copy-paste use case in Windward Hub with the standard subscription. Uh, have a great rest of your day.